Hey guys, so I just finished watching the 2021 Dodge EV Summit with the CEO Tim Kaniskis and I found some very important uh, hidden features and some hidden Easter eggs that I want to point out to you guys revealing the future of Dodge's electrification and the future of the Hellcat, future of SRT because I know I have made a lot of videos touching on the future of what's going to go on with the future of Dodge. Are they keeping the Hellcat? Are they keeping the SRT? Are they taking it away? Are we just going to go to electrification? So I got some cool answers for you today. Now guys, if you are new to full send SRT, I cover everything SRTs, Hellcats. I got my track hawk here. I got two 2021 Grand Cherokees. And if you haven't seen my previous video, I am building the world's first 1966 Chevy Stepside Shortbox C10 ZR1. That's right, guys. I'm putting a C6 LT9 in a 1966 Chevy, guys. So make sure you stay tuned for the build and stay tuned for the track hawk. I'll be building this one as well. All right, guys, without any further ado, let's get right into what's happening in 2024 with Dodge. So, guys, I've pretty much memorized the video by heart. So let's start off with the beginning. As you guys can see right now, right on the screen, you can see all the old vehicles are facing one way and all the new vehicles are facing the other. And in the new vehicles, they include the Dodge Viper ACR. Now, this isn't 100% confirmed. I have the sneaking suspicion that we may see an exotic car coming from Dodge in 2024, just like how Ford has their GT. Guys, you'll also notice that every vehicle facing the one way is either a Hellcat or an ACR. And there is one secret vehicle on the very end. You can see we have the Challenger, the Charger, Durango, Viper, but there is one vehicle underneath that sheet that Timmy boy lifts up the sheet from and we can just see the bottom of the vehicle. Now guys, if you take a look at the bottom of this new vehicle, you'll see that there is no front fog light where the fog lights usually are on all the Dodge models, except for the Hellcats. Now, what this tells me is they're revealing a future Hellcat model or I've been told this is a Hellcat Cuda coming for 2024. Now, whatever it is, it's going to be a very powerful vehicle. It's going to have 700 plus horsepower because they're only lining up Hellcat powered vehicles on the one side of the vehicles. So we know there is a brand new full redesigned vehicle coming for 2024. Now guys, if we skip forward just a little bit, you'll see the CEO of Dodge, Tim Kaniskis, absolutely lighting those tires up in that Hellcat wide body. And then he blows the engine. Either he blew the engine, either that or someone threw a smoke grenade at him. I'm gonna go with the first option, definitely blew that engine up. Now going a little bit further, you'll see just how cool Dodge's CEO, Tim Kinesis looks. His hair is on point, guys. That's exactly why the man, the myth, the legend is my uh, my screensaver here. Now, if we go a little bit further into the video, you'll see Tim talk about how millennials are the biggest target audience for the new vehicles. And that is true also with criminals. Every time I search up Hellcat or SRT in the news, all I see is, Dodge Challenger Hellcat stolen from dealership and evades police. This is the only vehicle I've seen actually outrun a police helicopter. So they're trying to get away from the criminal lifestyle. Good work, Tim. I remember one time I opened up the news and I saw like 30 or 40 Hellcats stolen from Dodge dealership. Yes, Hellcats are one of the only vehicles that people actually get shot and killed over, but let's just roll the clip. The Dodge CEO Tim Kaniskis also touches on how it's a Dodge Brotherhood. Watch out, Tim, you might get canceled by those millennials for calling a brotherhood. Might as well go with peoplehood. I don't care, but watch out, Tim. Now, something big that Dodge CEO also touched on is they sell an experience and not a technology. This is the most true statement I've ever heard come out of Dodge's mouth. Guys, this track rock right here is a pure experience. You're not paying $100,000 for the technology because I got plastic everywhere in a $100,000 vehicle. Uh, this plastic comes out of the $35,000 Laredo model, guys. These seats for hundred grand do not come stock. You have to pay $8,000 for them. So it's really the experience that they're giving you and that big 6.2 liter supercharged V8 Hemi with over 700 horsepower. Now, guys, as we roll the last clip for the final unveil or half unveil of the new electric vehicle coming in 2024, you can see that we have a all new logo. It's kind of like a triangle. So I'm going to play the clip right here. And in 2024, Dodge will launch the world's first full battery electric muscle car. Through intelligent evolution, we expect to thrive and define the future of American muscle to tear up the streets, not the planet. Hold on a minute. Did we hear that right? Dodge? is making an electric car. We're talking hypothetical, right? Surely you jest. Dodge 
You mean the people who devised the legendary 426 Hemi and sunk it into a sublime missile? You mean the Dodge that created the Hellcat Red Eye and the most powerful muscle car in the world? Makers of the 840 horsepower wheel standing demon. So guys, you'll see that the vehicle that they showed in that unveiling trailer or clip, it is the exact same vehicle that's at the start of the video underneath the big curtain. So what I'm thinking is that that is the new CUDA logo for the new vehicle coming in 2024. I don't think it's gonna be a Hellcat. I think it's gonna be the CUDA, or maybe it's gonna be called the CUDA Hellcat. But guys, I think that's their new electric vehicle logo. Let me know what you guys think down below. This is just some things that you might not have noticed in the Dodge 2021 EV Summit. If you guys noticed anything else that I didn't point out, please let me know down below. I'm really excited to see what they have coming. I know a lot of guys are mad that they're going to electric, but guys, California, that's all pushing everything to electric vehicles. Honestly, guys, I might have to get rid of my Trackhawk because gas prices are so freaking high right now. Just kidding, guys. I'm going to continue building this thing. I'm going to continue getting worse miles to the gallon. So make sure you stay tuned for that. I hope you enjoyed today's short but sweet video. If you did, consider hitting that subscribe button, guys. Hit that like button, and we'll see you in the next one. Full Send SRT signing off. Peace.